Hey what's up guys welcome back. In this video we are going to be taking a look at map function in Python. So let's take an example. So I'm going to initialize a list called list and I'm going to pass 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 values in it. So let's say we want to square all these values. So we want the output to look something like this. So 1 to the power 2 is 1, 2 to the power 2 is 4, 3 to the power 2 is 9, 4 to the power 2 is 16, and 5 to the power 2 is 25. Okay, so we want the output to look something like this. So what I'll do is I'll create a function and I will call this as square and I'll pass the n and we'll just simply return n to the power 2. Okay, in order for us to square these values, what normally we would do is we would do for n in list and we would call this square function and we would pass n and output we can create something like this out and we'll create a list and we would do out dot out dot append append the square of n and then we can print out okay so if I execute this we'll get the output but in the map function it makes it very easier so we don't have to do all this stuff we, we can remove this stuff what we can do is we can just take map function instead of which we can pass the function name so we want to square and we can pass the second argument it accepts is the iterable so here the iterable is list so we can pass list and if I print this we get a value which just gives you the object's location. In order for us to see the output properly, what we can do is we can convert this into a list. So I'll just do list and I'll execute this. We'll get the output as 1491625. Okay, so that was about map function in Python. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.